love going through a political candidate's old social media feed. It's like a peek into their real thoughts when they think no one else is looking. And I think we can all get a far more candid picture about exactly who these people are rather than seeing their polished public personas. Now, mining the NDP and Liberal candidates' social media feeds during the last federal election campaign sure made for some fun and interesting times, and I truly regret I didn't give the same scrutiny to the Alberta NDP last spring. But to redeem myself, my Twitter friends and I are putting our old mining skills back to work again. And we found some very interesting things in the Twitter feed of the Saskatchewan NDP candidate for the riding of Regina Rochdale, Brett SD. He does not like oil, like at all, and he hates pipelines. Just look at these tweets. To those who think there's no risk with building more pipelines. And then he goes on to link to a story about a decades old pipeline that leaked in Alberta. You know what, Brett? If the old pipelines might leak, why not build some new ones? And then he says, too bad conservatives don't listen to the facts. BC coast is hostile country for oil, pipeline panel told. Hey Brett, how about this fact? Pipelines are the safest way to transport oil. And then there's this tweet. Wall's Keystone XL stance is wrong for Saskatchewan. Hey, even Peter Lougheed thinks the pipeline is bad. That's saying something. Look at this map of North American pipelines. SD thinks another little chunk of pipeline will end the world somehow. How ridiculous are these people? Also, does Saskatchewan NDP leader Cam Broton know that his candidate hates Keystone XL? Broton himself says he supports Keystone, but I'm not inclined to believe the Saskatchewan NDP leader when he says these things, given he's running an anti-Keystone candidate. And there are just so many more anti-oil tweets from SD's timeline. Now, so many Saskatchewan jobs rely on oil and gas. And here you see an NDP candidate actively campaigning against the pipelines and industry that are making Saskatchewan one of the most prosperous and best places to live and work in the entire country. We all know pipelines have well over a 99% success rate. But that won't stop the NDP from fear-mongering over a spill that may never happen. And it seems to me the NDP are the same all over. They hate oil and gas, and they don't care if you lose your job as long as they win the war on carbon dioxide. And the oil patch trades union members who value their jobs might do well to reject the prompts of their own union executives in the Saskatchewan Federation of Labour when they're asked to vote for the NDP. And Cam Broton can't run candidates like Brett Esty that hate oil and gas and then claim to support it. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.